Piccadilly Circus is a road junction and a public space of London's West End in the city of Westminster, built in 1819 to connect Regent Street with Piccadilly. In this context, a circus, from the Latin word meaning circle, is a round open space at a street junction. The circus is particularly known for its video display and neon signs mounted on the corner building on the northern side. Piccadilly Circus connects to Piccadilly, a thoroughfare whose name first appeared in 1626 as Piccadilly Hall. Piccadilly now links directly to the theaters on Shaftesbury Avenue, as well as Haymarket, Coventry Street, and Glasshouse Street. Piccadilly Circus was created in 1819 at the junction with Regent Street, which was then being built under the planning of John Nash. The circus is close to major shopping and entertainment areas in the West End. Shaftesbury Memorial Fountain is an excellent meeting place and a great place for public entertainment. Its status as a major traffic junction has made Piccadilly Circus a busy meeting place and tourist attraction in its own right. The National Portrait Gallery is an art gallery in London housing a collection of portraits of historically important and famous British people. It was the first portrait gallery in the world when it opened in 1856. The gallery moved in 1896 to its current site at St. Martin's Place off Trafalgar Square and adjoining the National Gallery. The gallery is a non-departmental public body sponsored by the Department of Culture, Media and Sport. The gallery houses portraits of historically important and famous British people, selected on the basis of the significance of the sitter, not that of the artist. The collection includes photographs and caricatures as well as paintings, drawings, and sculpture. Often, the curiosity value is greater than the artistic worth of a work, as in the case of the anamorphic portrait of Edward VI by William Scrotts. or a sculpture of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert in medieval costume.
portraits of living figures were allowed from 1969. In addition to its permanent galleries of historical portraits, the National Portrait Gallery exhibits a rapidly changing selection of contemporary work, stages exhibitions of portrait art by individual artists, and hosts the annual BP Portrait Prize Competition. In January 2012, Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, announced the National Portrait Gallery as one of her official patronages. Her portrait was unveiled in January 2013. Filled with the world's largest collection of personalities and faces from the late Middle Ages to the present day, the National Portrait Gallery is one of the must-see places to visit when you're in London. The venture is not over. There is still more to discover as we continue to explore the streets of London.